Hello, uh, welcome to Snooker Pro Tips. Uh, somebody has uh, sent me a personal message regarding the swerve shot. Now it's something I haven't done so far, so I'm glad they've asked for it. So this is the clip uh, regarding the swerve shot. Now people have uh, messaged me when they play the swerve shot that they actually over it, so they actually get too much bend on the white and miss the object ball they're trying to hit. Now this is a very common fault when playing the swerve shot because what they normally do is they raise the cue far too high in the air. Uh, because if it is you've only got a small swerve, then you don't need to lift the cue quite as high as you think. Uh, and obviously the more snookered you are by the object, the, the ball you're trying to swerve around, then the higher you've got to raise the cue. Also what comes into the equation is the distance between the ball you're actually trying to swerve around. Uh, when it's pretty close like I've got it at the moment, it's a lot more difficult, believe it or not, because you've got to get a little bit higher on the on the cue ball. So what I'm going to show you is just, uh, I've got the red on the brown spot there, and I've got the black on its spot, so we'll, we'll take it with just demonstrating the swerve in general. And what I've actually got here now is I'm quarter ball snooker. So if I hit it in a straight line, I'm going to clip the red. So what I need to do is just bend it around the red, so as I hit the black. So now because it's only quarter ball, I only need a small bend on the cue ball. What I'm going to do is just raise the cue, the cue slightly at the back end. But the important thing is I'm aiming for this spot here. So once I aim for that spot, once the spin kicks in, it then bends round and it's the black. So I'm hitting at 3 o'clock on the white, raising the cue, and then just a nice push through. There you see, so it just bends round nicely and it's the black. That also works on the other side. If I was snookered the other way, it works in exactly the same way, except that way you'd be hitting 9 o'clock, obviously. So now if I'm slightly more snookered, and it comes over, so now it's half ball instead of quarter ball, now what I've got to do is make sure that I lift the back end of the cue slightly higher. And because I'm hitting down on the white, I'm hitting the same place on the white, which is 3 o'clock, and now it bends just slightly more and comes round and hits the black. So I'm slightly high, same spot again. You see there, just clipped it. Didn't quite get enough on that, but I've still hit the black. I've bent it round and hit the black. The important thing as well when you're playing this shot, make sure you chalk up before you play it. You don't want it to be missed because you're hitting down and you're hitting the side of the line. Now the more difficult one of the three twerves is full ball because you've got to get the cue up a lot higher. And this is the more difficult one of the two and very difficult to play. Normally if you sort of snook at full ball, most players won't even try and swerve around it. What they will do is go off a cushion and try and hit it that way. But I'm just going to try it with full, uh, a full ball so you can see it. Obviously I've done quarter, I've done half, there's three quarters as well, but again it's just raising the cue each time just that little bit higher. So just to finish with, the full ball snooker. Again, I'm on my tiptoes now, but we're just going to try and get it around the red and hit the black. Now you see, just nicely bent round. The important thing is the elevation on the cue. That's the most important thing when you're playing the swerve shot. So now, what do we do if it's a little bit further away? So now that the black is on its spot, the red now has moved a distance now to the blue spot. So again, we quarter ball snooker. And again, all we're aiming for now is this this patch here. Moves a little bit over. So this spot here, but what you've got to do is just put a little bit more pace into the ball because it, it's got to take a longer swing. So it's a little bit more pace in it. Cue's just slightly higher. You see there, again, just a nice hit. And as we go just a little bit further over, three quarters. Again, just slightly higher on the white, and again, with just a little bit more pace on it, just to help it rain the red. Again, aiming for that spot, 3 o'clock again still. And then you see just bending it round. This isn't something you will do straight away, it's quite tricky. 
Again, if it's full ball, then it becomes very difficult from that position. You must go so high. So here we are. I'll try, I'll try full ball. I won't guarantee getting it because you've got to get the cue so high, hitting down on it. Very difficult shot. You see there, just couldn't quite get it on. I'll have one more go, and that shows you how difficult that actually is to try and do. Because you're not sure when the spin is actually going to take. Each table will vary, cues will vary, so everything about this shot is very difficult. So, just one last try. You see there, just got too much on that one. So again, one more try, so I've hit the red. Missed it on the other side this time, so something that can be done. Last go, third time lucky. There we go, hit it third time. So that there is the swerve in general. But the important thing when you're playing that shot is the elevation of the cue. The thinner it is on the, the ball that you snooker it on, if you're catching it thin, then you don't have to raise the cue as high. Obviously, the thicker it is, then you've got to go up in the air. Now, one or two of you have asked me about the Masse shot. I cannot play the Masse shot. I've never tried it, never practiced it, for the simple reason as most of the tables I play on, uh, people wouldn't like it if I was practicing the Masse shot and putting divots in the table. Very difficult thing to do. Uh, there's loads of clips on uh, YouTube with the players who do the Masse shot. Uh, if it is, you want somebody to watch, watch somebody like Walter Lindrum. Uh, one of the old-time billiard players, an absolute expert at the Massey shot, so he's the man to watch. Uh, it's been Snickle Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you.